Hello everybody, I was going to wait until Fymir got here to start the video, but he's on his way, don't worry anybody, Fymir will be here very shortly. This is the final of the Chalice, uh, Season 5, we've got Diomed with his Dark Elves. Ooh, let's see what colours they are. Oh, they're basically red and blue already anyway, that's perfect. Diomed with his blue, blue Dark Elves, Bright with his red Orcs. Bright won the toss and chose to kick. Very strange. I would never do this. I would always recommend people to receive if they win the toss. Under pretty much all circumstances, if you're ever on the fence, always receive. And I think even when the best players, of which Bright is obviously one, choose to kick, I would say never kick. <laughs> I think they're often wrong. Um, but there you go. Bright has chosen to kick. They've both got about 1,600 TV teams. They've both got 12 players. Uh, you can see here loads of plus AV for Diomed's Dark Elves. I really love all of these plus AVs. Um, that was a call that I made when I saw the new rules. I was like, oh, AV is OP. 10 TV for AV up is incredible. And of course, it just lets you spend SPP that you don't want to spend, right? Like if your player is, is finished after block dodge sidestep, we'll then just keep giving him AV. And that, that's loads of SPP spent, very little TV. He's doing his job super efficiently, right? Like, this, these blodge sidesteps are always the guys getting punched. And they're always armor 11, and they're, you know, their the sidestep is just a great deterrent to getting hit as well. So, fantastic. You know, Bright uses them really well as well. He's always putting these plus AV up sidesteppers in position to get hit. Obviously, it's kind of high risk, high reward, because if they ever do get their AV broken, you feel bad. But it's, uh, I think it's a great strat, and uh, love to see it. Looks like he's setting up for a Daka here, the classic withdrawn offense. Both teams have a sneaky get dirty player. Um, Diamed doesn't have a lot outside of these <laughs> Armour 11 players, to be fair. <laughs> um, but he's got a couple of Witches and, you know, some dodges. Whereas if you look at Bright's team, he's got loads of guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guard. That's a lot of guard. Yep. Hello, find me a five mighty blow. Um, seven guard. This mighty blow tackler here, who's also movement eight. That's incredible, isn't it? He's not. Yeah, he is mighty blow tackle. And he's got also got mighty blow tackle guard and juggernaut and movement eight. That's an incredible player, isn't it? And uh, he's got this very nice throw with movement six and AV ten plus. So there you go. Let me share the screen. Sorry, I mean I should have already been doing that. I, ah, I, I forget. Yes. I'm. I'm not so good yes, at the streaming yes. anymore, but you know. Yeah, here on another uh, Chalice Cup final. Mmm. Legend, the legend that is Fymir. Yes, yes, an era starts here, <laughs> and this is a uh, not the last uh, Chalice Cup final. You might remember you are watching uh, our viewers are watching uh, uh, this video that the uh, the last Chalice Cup final as I think been going for the last three years <laughs> but not anymore oh he double wand and stunned himself this lad so it, it clever to go the other side of the sneaky get dirty player but that stun means that this guy might make his way over there and foul him so he, it's interesting decision isn't it bright's got to make does he does he try and foul this guy and not pressure the dacker or does he come forward and pressure the dacker mm. tough decision to make hola Benny Bartes. <laughs> if well, only had uh, plus AV! <laughs> it was 9 yeah, if only had plus AV, it'd have been fine. That's amazing. The one player without plus AV. There you go, lessons will be learned. Oh dear. Thanks, Tom Schnees. Daka, daka, daka. Then you go, the classic uh, Daka here. And meanwhile, you know, the eternal debate on every game of Blood Bowl, which team is the Orc, which team is the Elf, <laughs> who can say in this game who's the Orc, who's the Elf, <laughs> impossible to know, that's one of the mysteries of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Leave us uh, in the comments which team you think is the Orc team and which team you think is the Elf team. <laughs> yeah, great, <laughs> great question, thanks for having me. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> You should make a poll on the, uh, on the stream now. <laughs> I can't, but a, an admin could. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait a second. I think I... Do, can I? 
Yeah. You can, yeah, you can, you can, I'm pretty yes. sure. It's just difficult, it's difficult while, you know, controlling the camera and stuff. Anyway, turn up, find me as Mike, I can, yeah, I, I'm sorry that he is so quiet, I did not realise. Let me turn up. I did turn myself up because somebody said I was really quiet, so I turned myself up. So maybe I've got to turn everybody up to now be on par with me. That should be a bit better. Let me know if it's okay. Okay. Oh, now. Can you hear me better now, guys? <laughs> Hello, Fire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, Why are there only two minutes in the time bank? That is a bug i don't know when it happens but it is a bug it's just a display bug yeah perfect now turn jimmy down <laughs> oh dear. all right so he has just chosen to pressure in mostly just a straight line interesting okay that guy left behind Will be the one that's going to receive the scoring pass in the last time because uh, Bright forgot about him. Yeah, yeah, it's really this nice having a guy through. First yeah. time. This is not the first time that this <laughs> happens. Yeah, I, I might do that, honestly, in future. That's a pretty good thing because even if they fall, if they don't die, then yeah, your opponent's got to foul them and then not pressure the Daka or they've got to kind of leave him behind if they pressure. So yeah, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good move to run somebody through early like that. And there you go, the poll is already up on the stream. Which team is the Orc team and the Elf team in this game? <laughs> I mean, the truthful answer, Von Roo, is I don't know what the best defense is against the Daka. And I, I'm not sure anybody knows. I think, you know, people, different people have tried different things. And uh, ultimately, nobody's played that many games against the DACA, right? Like, if, if, you, if you look at the, you know, the guys who've played thousands of games, uh, we've played, like, thousands of normal games. We haven't played thousands of games with the DACA and against the DACA, right? We've mostly done normal drives. The DACA's really, really, really young, like, as a, as a strategy. And I'm not sure... You know, many people have played like more than a hundred games with with, with the DACA, so uh, yeah, it, it's very inter It's super interesting. I really don't know what it is. I, I like the kind of unknown aspect of the of the DACA. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> well said, KLZ. Uh, yeah, I, I do think it has that going for it, certainly. <laughs> no, I see what you did there, Scroll. <laughs> well, I think Bright is doing the right thing, putting as much pressure as possible, as quick as possible. Yeah, he's going right up there, isn't there? There's no guard at all on this. Uh... Ah, there you go, they play it up. Hey. Pedro, oh, oh, there you go. Oh, you know, completely safe. Ooh. On the, on oh, you're, the you're a bit robot you find me. You're a bit robot I don't know if... Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's better. That was better. <laughs> The wait, wait, wait was better, but yeah, you were going very robot-y. <laughs> um, yes, this is interesting. Um, if there was a guard, like his only double is the mighty blow, isn't it? Which is a really good mighty, a really good double, right? You're going to blitz with this guy every single turn. You're getting 17 uses out of it. But zero guard, it's really good just to have one guard somewhere or a strength four somewhere. Glorious. And either of those, really no, good I to have. And he's got neither. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Four. I will defend. Daka, daka, daka. Daka, daka, daka. A 2D on the left. I don't see how you're getting two plus dodges. Anyway. Okay. Whoa. What about now? Oh, you're really loud, me. Hello. I'll, I'll, I'll turn you down a little bit, but yeah, that's very good. Have you, have you got like a different, have you got like a special mic? Is this the Pogler mic? No, no, no. Sometimes the the duck I use 
After waking up the computer, uh, acts a little weird. Oh yeah, you seem you seem <laughs> you seem way louder. This is the this is the Pogla MSR mic. <laughs> we all know the truth. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. He's a bit stretched here, isn't he, Diamond? Like he's he's uh, because uh, Bright has got so far forward, and he was already so stretched out. He's he's really thin. He's under a lot of pressure here. This is this is not easy at all. And now now yes, now you can see the the time bank is uh, is registering properly. He yeah, apply as much pressure as possible as quick as possible, force the opponent to do things, forcing the opponent to do things, it's always a good thing in Blood Bowl. Glorious. Yep. No, I won't give oh my god, we have a high training coming. Oh, and I will glorious. defend. I will defend. Oh. Oh god, right, sorry. Oh, he's failed, he's oh. failed the 1 in 9 dodge. Turn over and now Bright has a very decent chance to put some pressure in the ball. A lot of pressure, yes. And uh, thank you very much, the drunken monk. Welcome to Team Fantastic. But this this guy's the scoring threat now becomes a big factor, right? Because the you know obviously now he's just going to want to punch everything, smash in as as, as much as possible, and that's going to leave that's going to leave this path to the the pass and run away. <laughs> Oh, exactly, because even if the elves are not very good at passing, the, the dark elves are not very good at passing anymore, even a failed pass, if it comes, you know, far enough, that guy will, will pick up and run. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's, that's not the side <laughs> step I will have chosen. I will mm. go up. I will say, okay, the Dark is not going to happen, so <laughs> I'm going to need to run away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the tough thing, though, right? Like, it's, it's only turn three, so so Bright's got to be wary of, like, the, the switch to the side and stuff. It's it's always, like, every turn is so tough, you know? It's a bit like it's a bit like how Chunter puts the pressure on, you know, with, like, basing all your guys and stuff, and, like, if you make a wrong move, all of a sudden he's got a shot at your ball. The Daka, like, is putting a lot of pressure on the defense to play these turns, you know, pretty perfectly. And if they just leave, like, one, one like, you know, an easy blitz into, like, you know, 1D blitz into two pluses out, then there you go, at the whole team is past you and, and it's a nightmare so it's it's super interesting there you go they're going for the push mm. not using the roll there not a uh, bad thing i mean it still, it still has many more hits with the there's a big end there that can hit the, the piece no oh, nice non knockdown there really nice uh, non-stun for 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 uh bright right uh, for yeah for the stun is really nice for bright because otherwise this which would be up surfing people wouldn't it on up hills so it's great that he doesn't have to worry about that this witch at all but yeah that's that was a lovely pair of non knockdowns for diamond he, he might be able to get out of this situation somehow and thank you very much steve not you for the bits sympathy bits for the end of the year and thank you very much Tom, uh, yes, for yes, yes 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 uh, thanks everybody and the ape train Wait, what, what, wait, what happened to get the hype train? It was like instantly just one sub or something like that. I don't know. No, two subs. Jesus Christ, the, the standards are low. <laughs> it's I guess, Maybe it's because it's so rare on, on this channel now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> In mind with one will be, you know, hype train level seven. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, it's been a... One bit is not nothing. Thanks so much, Tom. Uh, <laughs> exactly. One bit is not nothing. Uh, you know, so everything counts. Yeah, it really does. Thank you all very much. And, uh, hey, Pogolar, well. This is good, isn't it? He, he has come in, but he has also kept his shape. He goes for this, this massively armoured <laughs> player and does nothing. And, uh, yeah, I wonder if... I wonder if Diamond will try and go through this lineman now, if he can. Glorious. No, I won't give in. 
until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Four. Anonymous Gifter. What a legend. Oh, Anonymous Gifter. Cool be, cool be the Mia Khalifa. <laughs> giving you back the, you know, all the gifted subs that uh, you have uh, given to her. Yeah. Sorry, you have been a long-standing uh, subscriber of Mia Khalifa's channel. <laughs> Thanks to random gifted uh, subs. Yeah, yeah, Tony. <laughs> Mostly Tony. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, amazing. Maybe it is. Eighty percent chance to be Mia Khalifa. But whoever you are, thank you very much and welcome, Rainer. Or it could be Henry Cavill. Cavill. Could be Henry Cavill. Probably likes blood ball, doesn't he? Probably likes blood ball. He knows about Warhammer, so you know. Uh, he has acknowledged that he plays Warhammer 40k. I mean, he's not gonna know unless he plays Blue Bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a limit. There's a limit, right? He's only the most handsome person on earth. I mean, he can't really pull off playing Blood Bowl. But, but 40k, you know, he can get away with just. <laughs> you know, car career ending moves. That's one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I play you in console. I try to qualify for the Challenge Cup. It's over. <laughs> over. <laughs> No, oh dude, I mean, this is a problem. The, the tackles on the ball here. Um, you could try like one Ds and stuff to, to you know, try and a do things. A lot of guard there, uh, the uh, bright has there. So this is a a complete uh, disaster. Even <laughs> Mister Pro has plus A B. <laughs> yeah. Have a look at it. He could do this one day, right? There's this one day, and if it's a pow, then that maybe opens up things to try he needs and sneak to, through. He needs to hit the Lino on the left. The lonely Lino blitz him, hand off to someone, move up, and pass to the guy uh, at the top of the pitch. <laughs> the thing is, if I was going to do that, I would have wanted to blitz with this guy himself, right? I would have wanted to move this guy in for the assist. Then he could have blitzed and gone four, five, six, and been up there. Then this guy could have come out in front. I would have really liked that. But the fact that this guy didn't blitz, this guy hasn't dodged. I don't know what he's doing here. He's he's down to six minutes of time bank. This is uh, this is tricky. He could hand yes, off to this lineman, but I don't know where he goes. That's the problem with not blitzing this fellow, right? Like, this guy could have come all the way back as well. To, and, and, like, things could have happened around here, but the fact that they haven't means that, I'm, yeah, I don't, know what he, I don't know what he's doing. That guy with the, the sneaky gits or someone should have been the assist, blitz with the blitzer, hand off the... Oh, oh 2D. Okay. And off to the Lino, the Lino moves up, tries a pass, it doesn't matter what the result of the pass is. <laughs> and oh, there you go, that's the chance that the top player that uh, he had a blitzer there. That... <laughs> He's not playing Blood Bowl like in the 90s. <laughs> that would have been a play in the 90s. <laughs> um, so that got the dodge right, it made it a 1 in 81 to fail the dodge instead of a 1 in 36. So it did improve, it did improve the dodge. Um, it was an improvement over dodging the ball. It didn't achieve a whole lot, though. Got to admit. If he'd done that first, he could have gone for this 1D, right? And then if he got gets a pow, or if he got a pow for both of them, he could have tried to break through or something. I don't know. Like, it was strange to do. The turn ordering... Um, you know, reeked of somebody who didn't know what they were going to do or how they were going to do it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of doubts. There was a lot of doubts there. Mm. And this is tough. A really tough spot. You know, I'm not... I'm not... Um, I'm not... Oh, wow. Yeah, he's, this is only holding it with this one player. With a side stepper, which is uh, next to... Oh, a piece with tackle. A piece with grab as well. <laughs> Oh, so you can fully grab him away. Yeah, this guy probably should have like moved to here before he did the handoff, shouldn't he? And he could as well. He was over here, wasn't he? This guy could have just been stood here. This I was an think Diomed wasn't expecting 
Bright to be so aggressive with the a counter in the DACA. Yeah. I thought he was uh, going to have more turns. And again, and this is actually proper advice, <laughs> in Blood Bowl, you should try to make your opponent, with your opponent's game plan as difficult as possible. And I know it sounds obvious, but I've seen <laughs> so many games that people just hang around the pitch, you know, like with a... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm moving pieces here and there, but, you know, <laughs> or waiting for the duck after too late, you know, the classic waiting too high on the pitch, so Ooh. the other team... Ooh. Didn't hit this one, so he's not going for the ball? Oh, no, he can go there, yeah, okay, no, okay. Errata, errata, I was being stupid, his, was, his way was far better. <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, yeah. Yeah, that, oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, and it's Wrestle versus Jugs. Oh, my God, this is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster for Diamond, isn't it? I was so stupid. I was I was really stupid. I was thinking, do this guy so you can come around here, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, G, five. Oh, no, no, it's actually the same. In fact, maybe his was worse. But he, he was doing it at block list, which, and he got the both down, didn't he? So... Six and two threes, but his is his is safer. His is safer. But um, one, two, three, four, five. It's because it's going to take more GFIs, isn't it? And now uh, Brian needs to move that blitzer at the top right to the left. Yes. Probably yeah. tag, tag the side step in some way. And keep the witch also tagged because the blue the, the witch has the. Jump up. Yeah. Oh, so he, he only needs one GFI from the from the lineman. Yeah, one GFI from the lineman. I was thinking the lineman had a double GFI, but he doesn't. The lineman just needs to one GFI. Oh, he does this GFI oh. first. Okay, so no recovery here. So this actually isn't that bad at all for, for Diamed now. Okay, he's not going for it. Wow. Wow. He has the gates of heaven open to him. Wow. And he chose to attack that guy that again was the guy that in turn one. Mm. He should probably have fouled his sneaky git with his own sneaky git. Oh wow! So now we've got a we've got a two plus through. Oh, apart from this guy being stood there, but he could get blitzed by this witch elf, mate. Oh, not re not very. Oh, well, there's all sorts of holes open now, isn't there? With on one Ds and uphills, there's all sorts of of chances for Diamed. Um, interesting. It is a no tackle in the big and and the sneaky gate and the other ones and the blitzer with a guard none of them have tackle so he can 2 d that the lino that is in front of the side stepper with a plus a armor mm. and then uh, there is a big hole kind of but then this guy's back here isn't he so that, that really yeah. does help that really does help that hole there's a there could be a hole here, but he's got stand firm. No, he doesn't have stand firm. Interesting. He's, he had so many skills, I assumed he would have stand firm, but he doesn't. But then this guard's protecting him. They're both protecting each other. Good placement from the guard, Biggins. Which is, is you know, doesn't want a three plus out that way. So, and this would be a four plus. So the witch is, doesn't want to go through tackle twice. There's lots of, there's lots of uh, things happening. There you go, that he starts doing the he that I said. Mm. You should have followed with that, mate. Yeah, that's what I, honestly, that's what I was thinking about the sack. Like, um, when he'd moved everybody first, it's like, well, there's, there's no recovery, right? So, even if he gets the ball on the ground, what does he do afterwards? If he doesn't break AV on the witch elf, he gets surfed. He doesn't really want his movement eight, you know, his movement eight juggernaut guy getting surfed. Although he's, he's surfable now, isn't he? <laughs> does he does he go for the surf? 
Um, that would be wild, but I think he's not got... I mean, it would be a lot, right? He'd have to four plus dodge. And he'd need a couple of players there. Oh! Huge. Huge. Mega. Serious injury. And the, oh, the apple works. The apple works. Apple works. Happy days. So I think he's just going to stay where he is then, eh? He's just going to retreat a little bit. <laughs> a risky game to play for Diomed, but now he's got two two threats behind the line and a kind of half threat because he's prone. Oh, there's only one grab, isn't there? Yeah, this guy is not getting surfed. <laughs> you did have to worry about that a little bit. <laughs> Dimmy. It's a bit different, of course, when you have lots of skills on the teams, right? Um, the DACA tends to get better. Like, in this case, Diamed doesn't have an Adj 1 plus player. But, you know, if you've got Adj 1 plus players and side steppers and stuff, um, you've got, you've got like, a, a lot of... It's a lot more powerful when you've got super players that can do things. Um, it's a bit worse in NAF, where you just haven't got that much dodge and, and stuff. But then, obviously... You've got, um, Bright can put on more pressure with a multitude of guard and tackle and mighty blow. Wait, that witch doesn't have a no. I, okay, that doesn't have block. No, it's wrestle, wrestle. He's got both wrestle uh, witches, and then uh, this has got and juggernaut. It's out. Mm. Oh, amazing oh. player versus this team. This this guy is amazing, right? Movement eight, tackle. Mighty Blow, Guard and Juggernaut. Incredible Blitzer to have against this team. Or any team. Yeah, yeah. But, but not so much against, like, you know, other Orcs or whatever, right? Like, it, it's good, but it's not It's not great. Like, it's well, really Juggernaut great. Juggernaut works and... against a stand firm, so it's always going to be, you know, useful. And high developed teams, they're going to have or Wrestle or a stand firm or something like that. Yep. He's definitely just going to put him on the sideline now. And what? What? Has he got another grabber? I don't even know what's the icon for grab. That, uh, this what, what? What did he do? No, he's already blitzed. What? 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 <laughs> you have to put him on the sideline, don't you? You have to. That is wild. It's grab. He's got grab. Surely he had to put him on the sideline. Like, obviously, he must value this square more than this square for, like, stopping the breakthrough, right? Which is better, if he, if he, if, certainly if he follows. Um... Yeah so, yeah, so obviously now if he'd followed there, this would have been a gaping hole. So, like, so he was thinking about holding the formation, but... Whoa, oh, man, I don't know. Get, threatening this surf with, with tackle on him was really strong, wasn't it? But I guess it's turn six, so that's why I did it, you see? Idiot Jim, brilliant bright. Um, he's just holding the breakthrough because he knows it's turn six. And uh, my panic of getting forward that Dimmy mocks so relentlessly... Looks quite valid now, as uh, this is looking very tricky for Diamond to get forward in time. Very, very, very tricky. So yeah, that looked, that looked a crazy, you know, push direction and non-follow. Because obviously you want to push this guy on the sideline and then surf him next turn, unless he 3-2 through tackle. Yeah. But he was just thinking of the whole turn as a as a plan. Basically stay parallel to the other team. He's got everything covered. Really nice. The weak link is this guy, who isn't very weak. And he doesn't have a wrestle to blitz with him, because his wrestler's got the ball, which is... Probably the last thing that Diamond wanted.
I mean, the sack was very tempting. I mean, I'm sure he thought about it. I think maybe if he'd had, like, you know, say, the thrower to recover after, he would have probably gone for it. But the problem was the lack of recovery, wasn't it? And, like, he would have left a, he would have left an avenue of escape if he'd gone for it. Whereas by not going for it, there was, there was, there was no gaps in the formation, was there? Very well played, I would say, from Bright this, uh, this half. And, you know, Dimed hasn't really done anything wrong. But he's he's been under the cosh, hasn't he? Like it's been really hard for him. Like I'm not sure what he could have done better. He just has to uphill this guy, doesn't he? I think he just has to literally uphill this guy. Which is a shame. A shame he hasn't got wrestle to do it. I think uh, you are right. As I'm trying to find where can I show the results of the poll in the chat, and I have no clue. <laughs> Tragedy. Right, I can, uh, you know, uh, I can start predictions. Oh, that was bad. He could have just dodged. He ran all around, but this guy hasn't got tackle, so he could have just done a dodge. There. Oh, he hasn't got, he hasn't got dodge. So I guess falling over in this square is arguably better. Okay, here we go. He's got it back on a good play. Got to re-roll this now, I think. Yep. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Star six, uh, things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you really have to re-roll this. It's the power. Much better. He wants to put. He wants to keep him in contact, but also he wants to push him here so this guy can get through. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he really wants to push him to this square. Yeah. So it, it looks stupid, right? Because why don't you keep him on these players? But the idea is that this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and get here to screen. Oh, big powder! Mm. Maybe just stand this guy. A bit turn ordering issues. Oh, this guy does he have to GFI? Yeah, but then. You I think he has a sneaky yeah. gate to. <laughs> he has to because this one's movement eight. So he's just gonna let the he's just gonna let the thrower tag him. So this the sneaky gate has to go one two three four five six GFI GFI. I think doing one GFI with him was better. Oh, he's not. He's just letting him hit the ball. Okay, I think that's a really bad idea. <laughs> did he? Did he just miscount? He must have just miscounted. That doesn't make any sense. He's just instantly getting two diced with throw recovery. Yep. He must have just miscounted, misseen, whatever that is. Yikes. <laughs> that is... Uh... <laughs> Despair. Despair. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. I mean, the ball carry is in range of getting smashed <laughs> into the dirt. <laughs> no, he's not knocked over. Yeah, the witch is in range. And this blitz is in range. These two blitzers and the witch are, are all three of those are in range. Amazing, that isn't it? But he can, but he can tuck the thrower in behind to make it hard for him. No, oh, yeah, that's okay because then he got the two plus out, but it's gone the wrong way. Oh boy! Oh no! Could he have done a safe move before that? I think that the two D. Yeah. There's a few to the blocks that he will have done to free players before then that move. Yep. The dodge animation bug is horrendous. Right, so now he hasn't cleared him, so now foul, foul the witch, right? Yep. No AV break. Oh no. So he's got players free here to do all sorts of things. This is looking uh, 
this. Oh, he does the dodge. Yes, I like that. I like that he had to do something because this was looking terrible for him. So re really nice, really nice big and dodge. Correct. Correct play. Correct. So he can, he can like run back, hand it off, and then pass with whoever he hands it off to, right? That's like the simple solution. Um, one of these three or this guy can get handed off and then pass it. Or he could just, he could just come up here as well, actually, couldn't he? Um, he's got all sorts of options. Like, actually, all sorts yeah. of options. He's got to give it to somebody, though. He's got to give it to one of these two blitzers or this witch elf. Has to receive the ball at some point. Has he got leap, this fella? Yeah, I mean, he can't really leap anywhere. But it's nice that he's got it. <laughs> Better than a pass, yeah. I mean, ideally, he wants to hand off, right? Ideally, he wants to hand off to one of these two. This guy could come around and he could like try and blitz him and then he runs up and then he runs up. Okay. Here comes the handle. Works. Okay, so no pass this turn. I mean, not getting scored on is certainly a consideration, isn't it, for, for Diamed here? Like, getting out of this at nil-nil, while not what he originally wanted, will at least mean he doesn't lose. And oh my oh god, there's a double one. Double one into armor break. And he's definitely not scoring now, <laughs> Diamed. <laughs> uh, but the question uh, is, nope. is Bright going to score? Movement 8 guy is free. So, we're going to see another two dice on the ball, but that's all. Well, uh, Bright has two turns left, so that's more than enough time to try to do something. Yep. And Mr. Throw has a uh, movement six. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Mr. Throw's here, and he's got lots of scoring threats, hasn't he? I mean, he has to hit the ball this turn, though. Like, there's no, there's no doubt. He's, he's just yeah, I mean, if he doesn't hit the ball uh, this turn, doesn't try to hit the ball. I don't know what even uh, we're watching here. <laughs> Maybe both of them are training for the draw. You know, mm. wasted pals. Gets the knockdown. So maybe he's thinking of picking up with the movement aid guy, and that's why he's getting these not safe, but you know, somewhat safe moves done, so that he can attempt the pick up after the blitz. Here comes the blitz with the movement aid. Gets him. Gets the pow. Well, it was easy. That player has no skills. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's a bit too far because he's got no rerolls. Oh, okay, no, he does one GFI. Does he do the second? No. A lot of people, eh? Uh, and he has the grab guy. No, 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 it's not the grab guy. That's less armor, less agility in that big guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's got. It looks like yeah. he's got loads of skills, but he's only got three and loads of injuries. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the grand fella. Tackle as well. Maybe he took tackle before this game. That was a really nice one to have on that big one, wasn't it? So, honestly, just uh, the the thing is, he can't even run away from this. I mean, he essentially runs away. If he, he could just run up here and then. Uh, and then, you know, okay, so we already stood up this guy. This guy's gonna go for the ball, maybe? 
Oh no, this guy's going to blitz and then the lineman will go one, two, three, four, five, six and then pass to the witch elf or something. I don't know. I was able to get the pow. Got a guap penny hitting in the face. <laughs> Do you scatter the ball he here? He's scatter. going for the scatter. He's going for the scatter. Oh, that was a bit of the danger of going for the scatter. <laughs> oh my god, of all the scatters and all the catch attempts, <laughs> that's the one you should have uh, got. Now, uh, Bride has much more chances of scoring here. Yeah, he's going to instantly 2D into another 2D, and he'll have the blitz afterwards. He's got this blitzer. He's got no reroll, has he, Bright? So I think Diamond might get out of this at nil-nil, but uh, this is very scary for him, isn't it? No, no recovery at all for him. With that catch. I mean, it did recover it, but it's not a real recovery, is it? Not no safe recovery by that catch. Jump up, use for the the oh, last roll. I mean, is is the last is the last uh, action he's gonna do? Oh, freeze one player at least. Yeah, could have been better. Could have been worse. <laughs> and to be fair, he's got you know he's got he's got a couple of players. Yeah, he's got also he's got all these players on the follow up here. So this is interesting, isn't it? Because if he does this 2D, then it's not into a 2D back. It's going to be a handoff to the big Gavan with less armor and less uh, agility. Oh, it's a witch. Oh, big hit there. <sighs> KO. And he's got no reroll, so he really wants to hit with a blitzer. Maybe that should have been a blitz. And then come in for the assist. So he does it with the line or the problem now is this isn't a two D, right? He follows with the line. Oh, yeah. oh he's got this guy, he's got this guy to uh to cancel it. But then he's the scoring threat basically, so Yeah, he's gotta give that up. It's the knockdown. Oh, Not great! Time for a hero play for <laughs> Mister Throw. <laughs> That's not great. You'd really like to blitz this guy out of the way, and then he can just three plus four plus three plus four plus three plus score. Like, but that's. It's very possible, isn't it? It's very possible. But how do you even blitz that guy? It's hard. If you blitz instead of the wrestle, the guy that is tagging the Mr. Throne, the left, you can go for a, you power him, you can go for a Mr. Throne hero play, <laughs> you know, since the beginning. <laughs> three plus, four plus, three plus. <laughs> I was waiting for that Timmy to be honest. <laughs> As we'd one D's him so then this guy can dodge out double GFI. That can't, is that, that can't be good. One D on him, try for the serve. This is this is just really hard, isn't it? Five plus dodging it looks like now. No, he's gonna do all these dodges. The problem here is it's a scatter, isn't it? Because he's hitting him from like the wrong direction. But it could be a really good scatter. It could be a really bad be. or a it really good be. scatter. It's an amazing scatter! Oh. There you go! On the face of Mr. Throw. <laughs> 3 plus 3 plus. 4 mm. plus 3 plus the score. Wow. Unbelievable, Jeff. And he instantly fails the dodge. Well done. Uh, but armor is not break because he has plus IV, so uh, <laughs> a throw a uh, redeem once again. Yep. Kale stays out for Diamond. And now Bright is receiving at 0 0. Ready to just walk it in for the 1 0 win, isn't he? 
Yes, and in the poll that we make, which for some reason I can show the results, I think the results appear at some point, the answer that everybody, the most voted answer was all of the above. <laughs> so, and this is going to be, I'm going to say this in my voice, but all of you are going to hear it in purple chest voice. <laughs> and that was the correct answer, because sometimes you have to be the orc, and sometimes you have to be the elf. Very good. <laughs> and you all of you, all of you heard it in purple chest voice. It was it was like he was in the room. <laughs> his spirit, his spirit, you know, coming us, filling us. Yep, it is. It is Mr. Throw with plus M A and plus A V. Yeah, I think both of them, like you know, like. The orcs are 1600 and the. I don't know, maybe the. Maybe the Dark Elves are 1600. One team's 1600 and the other's 1595, so they're both pretty much at the cap. So I think they both, like, you know, spent their spare points on, like, you know, randoms or whatever. So this plus AV might have been, like, the last 10 TV that Bright had left. So he, he made it, he spent in plus AV on the throw, but he could have also, like, taken it before. I don't hate plus AV on the, on the throw, but the problem is you'd. You'd rather, probably rather have movement, wouldn't you? You know that's the thing. So that, that makes me think he's taken the AV later, um, just to spend the just to spend it and max out at sixteen hundred. It's because it seems weird to not just take a second movement. <laughs> when yeah, did yeah. Come? When did come and did PC? It's one of these things. It was one of these things, you know. When you when you are hearing a different voice, you can feel the original voice. <laughs> I could I could hear his voice as you said it to be honest. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, you could see him, you could see him the same way Ian McKellen uh, saw him coming <laughs> after him and throwing him off the of the pitch. <laughs> Interesting the sneaky get here. I would I would have wanted him to hold the, the sideline here. Like obviously it, it's good to have him here so we can follow whoever on the OLS. But if he was here, he's protecting against the Blitz better, isn't he? Um, but yeah, obviously he's put these guys up here and protecting against the Blitz down this side and pressure from this side. But I do think this sneaky get should have been over here. Um, if this had been a, a you know a Blitz, a deep Blitz or a Blitz this side, then this uh, this big one would have got Blitzed and uh, something could have happened around this side. But, you know, that didn't happen, so now he gets the payoff of a slightly better positioned sneaky git. Rubbish LOS so far. Yeah, it doesn't follow there in case he gets a push on the last one. Interesting. I would guess this this guy will follow. He might make it three dice. He doesn't. He could have made that three dice, right? He already had two assists, so he could have made that three dice. Because he'd want to follow to tag both, right? Like you'd want to follow. Oh, yeah. serious injury. Mmm. Oh, really nice. So like obviously not, not following is, is, is like stronger in that you're next to each other, but you really want to follow to tag this guy. But then if you want to follow, then you'd really want like say this guy stood next to him. So I would have probably moved this guy up first, three diced him and then followed. Um but it's kinda six and two threes in a way, I think. He's got a very strong cage now, hasn't he? Which is nice. Oh, well, apart from this corner. There's a leap, isn't there? There is a leaper, yes. Uh, you could 1D the ball. It's not terrible. In fact, for a starter, uh, I think it's the good. He has, you know... Not that many risks, he can uh, try to do that. And he doesn't lose too much if it uh, doesn't work. It's it's certainly worth thinking about, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He needs to get forward now, Dimmy. Two turns ago, he needed to get forward. Um, I, honestly, I wouldn't hate just going, just going straight for this leap. 
What's that skill on that guy there, the, the one with the blue ball? The one he just moved. What's that skill? Kick. Oh, kick. All right. I'll just be right back. Oh, there you go. There you go, guys. Here we are. Another CCL uh, final here. Two PC players. Bright and Diomed, second half here. Come on, eh, Diomed. You, you are the Dark Elves. You are supposed to be ultra aggressive. Oh, he's going for the blitz there. With, okay, Garantine to this all over the place. Problem is now next to attack El Piece. Ui! Is that a foul? That should be a beautiful foul there. Here comes, yeah, 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 here comes the kick. Oh my god. Did he just KO himself? No. Yes, he used the apple. Red Dice Hunters uses an apothecary. He used the apple on the failed print runs of the sneaky git. Oh my no. god! <laughs> Did he just? Oh my god! <laughs> Did he just fail the GFI KO himself an apple with? Yes. <laughs> yes. What a terrible result! Well, I wouldn't have done that foul. I wouldn't have done that foul. It was a pretty good foul, wasn't it? Plus three, plus three with DP. It was, it was a beautiful a really foul, nice foul, but yeah. that foul failing it, now nah, wouldn't have failed that one. Yeah, that was no, a no, no. rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Ca Calcium uh, wouldn't have done that. You know, uh, Calcium would have never. Uh, <laughs> whatever he is, he will never uh, done that. Foul. <laughs> Hasn't he got these? He's got these three, three assists. Seabros. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a good foul. It was a good foul on this paper. The problem was failing, failing the wrath and uh, knocking out yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's terrible. That's oh, a yeah, terrible. No, no. It was a hundred percent foul that should be done. <laughs> the result is a problem, but yeah, it was it was the right move. Yep. It was plus two. Well, it looks plus three to me. There's a player here. Yeah, it was a player here. It was plus three. He's base C, bros, you loon. <laughs> <laughs> He's just punched somebody. That player below, C, bros, has just punched somebody. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, you can't see for the trophy. Sorry. Sorry, okay, fair oh, enough. Oh, okay. Ah, because you are a... <laughs> Uh, watching it, okay, and uh, Srubel go to ask how I were expecting this in game. You, uh, one of us is in Diomed's house, and the other one is in Bright House. In Bright house. <laughs> that could be one option, but the reality, I think, the game has an option to watch uh, live games. Yeah, I'll show you after this if you if you're interested. Like if you if you just mean like in general, like if you want to, I'll I'll show you. Because um, it's hard to explain, you know, in the middle of a. In the middle of the final. <laughs> he, he did miss the leap play. If he'd gone for that leap play, nobody would have got KO'd. But instead he went for a plus three foul on a block guard. Big un. <laughs> what, what a noob. <laughs> Nafel, Nafel don't like uh, cheap plays. So that's what you get. Now he's in a world of hurt, isn't he? There's, there's guard everywhere. There's block. There's mighty blow. There's tackles. It's... There is the sneaky git ready to <laughs> foul his sneaky git. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one D uh, Blitz, which is the right play and the right player because there is a less AV. But the fact that you are uh, counting on uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that Blitz has two armor ups. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he loves it. AV eleven. Yeah, two of them. Two two blitzers. With AV11. Love it. So he's just staying in. He's I thought he was gonna I thought it was gonna be a reset turn, honestly. I thought he was gonna blitz him and then dodge these guys off, but he's just staying all in. 
Risky business with ten players, especially the two stuns. And with this knockdown, so he's only got seven standing players this turn. Very risky. And now the orcs start uh, doing the orc thing of punching people in the face with mighty blow. Yep. My God, that big gun has more injuries than uh, than the stand of uh, Jackie Chan. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh, guess the 3D. Oh, IMAX 3D, here we go. Sure, you can just size up one of these two. Yup. Doesn't break AV <laughs> on eleven plus. <laughs> Gets to punch him, yeah. I'd kind of want to blit foul his sneaky get dirty player. I kind of would. So maybe, maybe he'll blitz this sidestepper again. Nope. Wants to get forward, turn three. <laughs> it is Iron Art skin out here. <laughs> Plus if he's great, it really is great. Great uh, great level. All about the plus AV. I get I guess this was a random, right? I guess he did a random agility. Hoping for like okay, guys, there is a get. prediction started now. Who will win in 36 next? <laughs> and the next, I mean, after the predi time prediction, uh, the submissions is closed. So, in two minutes time, the orcs probably 136 in a 2D block, or theirs probably dodgy. <laughs> it must be a valid, must be a legit uh, 1 in 36, you know, you know, a 3 plus that uh, no, no, no. no. So yeah, he swaps these two out to get the foul on the sneaky git. Yeah, only a two assist foul. Um, a plus two foul. Yeah, that, that's I think a, we've been that here before. Plus, that was a plus two foul, see, France. <laughs> there you go, there you go. The game shows everything, you know, even to <laughs> beginner coaches like three bros, you know. <laughs> There's a play there, look, because it's a bit obscured. Sorry for obscuring things with the, all the pointless graphics. But there you go. And uh, there's the ch there's my video about the chaffs. Look, if you if you're interested in the new chaffs, I did a little a little video about it there, um, which Dimmy said was a brilliant video. So thanks for that, Dimmy. Leap play. Uh, not much of a leap player now, unfortunately. Yeah, thanks, Timmy. I, I was genuinely, I was pleased by that. I was, I thought, is this a piss take or is it just a genuine, a genuine nice guy Dimmy moment? <laughs> <laughs> because you have been known to take the mick a little bit and I thought it's probably just genuine <laughs> okay what did I miss I was opening the window because he's uh, roasting here uh, not a lot the, the, the Dells are still just basing everybody up still going full contact and uh, oh yeah maybe that was it Dementor yeah maybe that was Dimmy's point <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, the Dark Elves are just going full contact, aren't they? And a lot better turn to go full contact this okay, so he's dodged off a little bit. But it's a bit better now, right? Because now he's back to ten players. Last turn he was only on seven with the uh, all the stuns. Whereas now he gets back up to 10 players. I mean, they, they have more armor than the orcs. Yeah, they kind of do, right? Like, if the armor 11 is the only one who's hit, then they've got higher AV than the orcs. That's the crazy thing. Like, um, 
the in the semi-final i think diamond yeah the semi-final diamond versus mr page diamond was just like only getting his av 10 and 11 players hit like he, he was just not getting his normal players hit he was just constantly putting them in like the only real place to blitz um so it's interesting that you know like in that situation like if you've got say dwarves with one slayer um, then like the whole team is AV9, right? Because he's going to get blitzed every single turn. But then the the elves can make it to their armor 11 players every turn, and they've got like much higher armor than, than dwarves, which is mad, isn't it? Yeah, hard to blitz because they've got sidestep. Uh, just a single, just a single two, that was. That just was a single, single uh, I'd say the proper one in a 36. There mm. was what we, when we say, oh my god, a 1 in 36. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Orcs have got the fastest player on the pitch, haven't they? <laughs> the Orcs are the Elves, and the Elves are the Orcs sometimes. Yeah. In all this crazy game, we call Blood Bowl. And you also <laughs> heard that on Purple Chess Balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Oh, this is wild. Oh, there you go, Hanoff. So he can go seven to there, and he can go one, two, three, four, five to here. But he's oh, wait, wait, wait. his own team, isn't he? And off every turn. Yeah, yeah, he's got it as the default. Yeah. Oh, he's done it the other way around. Is that a GFI? Oh, he couldn't. He didn't. He shouldn't have done that. This guy. Oh, this guy wasn't the movement eight. Oh my god, I was. No, he was the movement eight. The movement eight could have been here, and he wouldn't have had a GFI. So that was a slight miscalculation by Bright. Slight mistake by Bright there. These could have been the other way around, but then no GFI would have been required. And also, this is this is risky in that he's splitting his team, right? Like this guy's over here, these two are over here, these two are over here. So the the elves can just run everyone around, put like a bunch of players in here, and uh, and then mob the mob the cage. That was a one in nine. Oh, am I seeing the prediction now? And most people think the orcs are gonna roll a one in fifty six. Probably a two D block, but could be you know. Well, I don't think they have. Yeah, maybe it's putting the rushing or something like that. Only 7% of the Sards were for uh, the Elves. Ooh. Oh. Th this... Could it be? He could chain the Witch into there, but it doesn't do a whole lot. And then he could but chain he the Witch on the ball. He could, the, he, could, he could hit the Witch on the ball, right? He could, he could chain this guy onto this guy to there. Oh, then he couldn't, he couldn't fill that in as well, though. Yeah. This is a bit rubbish. I think it's best just to try and split the team. Just just cut off these these five players with like a little screen here. Here's the bow. Yeah. Follows base the ball. That's Thanks. it. Congratulations, <laughs> Diomed. Champion. <laughs> End of the YouTube video. Con I hope our uh, viewers in... Uh, Venezuela, enjoy the, the <laughs> game. This game is dedicated to our viewers in Venezuela. The, the, they speak Spanish there, so this, I'm, for once I'm going to be able to pronounce things correctly. <laughs> the currency is the Bolívar eh, Venezolano. The mm. national dish is the Pabellón Criollo. And the national flower is the Orchid Catelia Mosiae, which, because it's a scientific mm. name, you know, I can't pronounce it mm. properly. I don't like this, honestly, I don't like this. What I would have done <laughs> is uh, get this guy in there, get this guy in there and just simply 2D this fellow, right? And then move the witch afterwards. I think this was a really good 2D to take. Um, yeah, I think I really like that 2D. And then you're using these players to split the team and assist the block. Then you're tagging this guy out as well with a, like, a rubbish play with armor. I thought that was a this would have been a really great power. I mean, so he might do it later on anyway. Okay, no, he's not. Yeah, I think that would have been a great power. I really, I really think he should have done that. But... It's fine here on drugs. <laughs> that, uh, uh, that's a good question, but uh, only legal drugs. <laughs> oh, so I don't like this. I don't like this. I definitely want both of these guys off. I definitely want to try and split the team. Like, So, you know, the pressure's good. The pressure's good. You know, all these guys attacking stuff. Um, the side steps on the ball. All all this is good, but I really wanted I really wanted to cut these guys off better. Um, like tagging them's okay, of course. You know, three plus dodges, it's okay. But but I feel like if if he just you know if he'd got a bit more intersecting here, um, and there would have been like no escape at all. 
Um, that's what I think. <laughs> but there you go. It's because this guy I, I would have tried to knock down, right? So wouldn't have got this hit at all. And he can just like dodge, right? Okay, it's a one in nine. In a one in nine, it's a disaster. But if he dodges, he gets to regroup and get right straight back into a cage. So in his turn 13 as well. And he has pushed forward a lot, which is great. Uh, ignore Dimmy with his hatred of pushing forward. <laughs> it is pretty good to, to take the space when you can versus Dark Elves especially. With loads of sidestep and stuff. And AVs, you're unlikely to remove them. Could just hand off to the movement eight guy, so then it's not a game losing one in nine if he fails. It's still, you know, arguably a game losing one in nine if he fails, but at least it's not a hundred percent guaranteed game losing as if he just fails the dodge. So he might just hand it off to this movement eight guy. Plus, then he's got the ball on a movement eight, which is really good, isn't it? No strip for the uh, dark elves because this witch elf has been killed the whole game. I assume it had strip. Does it? I don't think it's got strip anyway, does it? Nope. I assumed it had strip, but it looks like it's got tackle, wrestle, well, shadow. What was the latest skill? Is it sure hands? No, is that thing? Sure it's hands. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he just uh, I think he just randomed it loads, you know. Oh, what a dodge! Whew. By Mister Throw. Yeah, he did do the dodge. Oh, is that fend? Is it? Uh, I think he took a bunch of randoms, probably. Looks like he took a bunch of randoms. Oh, does the dodge. Doesn't put the reroll in. Yeah, this is a problem now, isn't it? Like, these two guys have got to come back. You can maybe win the fight over here. Like, there's no stun for him, is there? This is, the, this is the bad thing about the orc team. Yeah, okay, it's got the movement up. It's got loads of guard. It's got some mighty blow. It's got a bunch of randoms. But it doesn't have the stun for him. And there, there could be, like, you know, potential surfs. Very potential. <laughs> there's only one witch, so I guess no potential surfs. But, um... Yeah... Really he's hard, going for the yeah. He's going for the hit on the back of the cage. Only protected also the back of the cage is only protected by two liners. So a lot of pressure can be applied there. But you can apply too much because then you leave the front free to act. Yeah, and this tag is a, is a bad direction because like he had no choice, right? It would have been GFIs, but um, it would have been so much better if he could have if he could have been there, so he could have blitzed him out. Whereas now it's just it's just easy to get rid of him, right? You just got to blitz him from here, and he can't stay in contact with the sidestep. So very easy to clear this sidestepper. Uh, and if only this guy had had another square of movement, it would have been a lot better for Diomed. You just got to try and punch these guys in front. Oh, get in! It's a big power. Yeah, to watch the game. <laughs> oh my god dead dead dead, dead. <laughs> wow well that uh... it's pretty good blocking things <laughs> it's pretty good the, the niggling injury didn't affect the, <laughs> the result the... because he was already dead this is a nightmare though look how exposed he is by putting those three players into that block yeah and if he does this this look at this gaping hole this is yeah, he's just gonna have to dodge away. <laughs> I think this is correct. So I guess he tagged him so that he was still tagged. Yeah, he had to put something into this space here. Head, head, head. <laughs> wow. So he's still got the hand off. He could just hand off score, right? He's in range. But the problem is, if he makes this block, he's going to sidestep to here. If he doesn't power him. Oh, a match needed the powder. Mm. I 
And now the time banks are really, really small. Oh, yeah. Only two minutes for uh, Bright and 50 seconds for uh, Diomed. Yeah, they used, they both used so much in the first half, didn't they, with a Dakar, a very, a very tactical Dakar from both people. Right? So I guess we just goes for the blitz to clear. The problem with this blitz is where does he go now? Is the big problem. And it's a really big problem. I maybe just surround him with guard and hope for the best. <laughs> that never feels good, but sometimes it's what you've got to do. He doesn't have that much players. Oh, yeah, I have the blitzer there. Yeah, he can go in there oh. to stop this sidestep. I guess he's just not going to hit him then. I guess he's just not going to... He can't hit him now. He could try the 1D. Huge. 1D, pow. And an AV break. Cheeky stuff. Oh, blessing. And now he can hit... Oh. Yeah, he's still not going for the hit. Interesting. Interesting. He did break AV10 plus, yeah. I mean, it's only AV9, right? It's the same as an orc. It's not. AV10 plus isn't too crazy. Or, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, pretty good for a 1D. <laughs> and he's got he's got mighty blow, so. I wonder if he's going to try some, like, uphill or 1D here to try and get. It's still. This is still pretty good shape, isn't it, from Bright? Diamond's probably just looking to try and stall him out now, but it, but it is difficult. He's got to keep an eye on this movement 8 fella. Because a last minute handoff to him can spell disaster. Yeah, there is only two more turns, so yeah, so he's... I mean, he's uh, to be fair, Bright's, like, Diamond's gone full contact for the whole half and has outbashed the Orcs, hasn't he? Yes, <laughs> yes. He's, yeah, he's yeah, made yeah, this yeah, kill yeah. and only take a KO, which he did himself anyway. <laughs> yep, both oh. down into skull. Yeah, I thought he might have tried the, the speculative the speculative one day here. And that was a one in nine. Uh, another dark elf is eleven plus. This guy's only this guy's only got one. Yeah, this guy's only got one. It's two blitzes now, or AV eleven. Or now the are. orcs. Yeah, this could be a huge turn now because like these these three are doing nothing right. So this this sidestepper is annoying. But if you can nail the sidestepper, then things can happen. And he could blitz the he could 3D blitz him, right? He could just try for this blockless block. I didn't like hitting with the movement eight. Obviously he's got block, so it's one in thirty-six or one in twelve nine six fail instead of a one in nine or one in eighty-one. But I really liked keeping him free. Hit with a sneaky git to free this guy for the 3D. Yeah, I thought this oh, was. Oh, here problem. comes the blitz, 3D. Tackle, that's a thing. Mm-hmm. And grab cancels the sidestep. And the armor break, oh, huge armor break, equity shift Amazing. that can be felt all over the planet. <laughs> yeah. The Blitzer is still a scoring threat, yes, but I mean, it's a long way to go now, isn't it? I would have really liked him up here. Like, like this, this Lyman's doing nothing now, right? This is the thing. So, like, yes, it was a bit riskier to hit with a, the sneaky kit, but how much better would it have been if this guy was, like, here, right? It's obviously way better if this if this Blitzer is here. Or here, or here, it's way better than him being back here and this sneaky get right in here. So, there was a huge payoff to blocking with the sneaky get. As much as Art would have crucified somebody for doing it, a block was Well, block. he still had three rerolls, so mm. he could afford that uh, level of risk. And he now still gets the, the 3D blitz with tackle and plow. And there was a guy, Mark, this, this guy was here. He could have been hit by the sneaky get dirty player and pushed to here. This is the point. <laughs> I just spent all that time saying it, and then Plo's like, probably wanted to three do them, but had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Sorry, Plo, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to answer so uh, so aggressively, but <laughs> I just got into great detail explaining the whole play. Get your together. And you were just like. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh well, look, he's got oh, he's got knocked over. Oh look. Oh look. Maybe, maybe if he'd had that, if he'd had this movement A player <laughs> as part of the cage, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> there you go. And that was, I know it was two ones, but he was in the armor. Doesn't count as a one in 36. <laughs> but wow, that was incredible, wasn't it? Five plus in, uphill. Got a horrible scatter. <laughs> there is a leap, though, to go and get it, isn't there? The leap can come and get it, maybe. But I guess he could have just dodged in. That was that was a hell of a blitz. <laughs> it was I'm incredible. I'm pretty sure yeah. Diomed is as happy as Bright is ab absolutely outraged. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he goes for the goes for the pickup. I think he'll just try and like you know base up the players around the ball. Still wants to tag him. Yeah, I don't, don't want to leave him free. And now that the uh, blister can uh, yeah, two plus and cover another one and oh, does he oh, roll? Is that one? Will, will he roll? Oh no, he doesn't. Because obviously the only way, the only way Diamond wins is in overtime. So he wants to keep his reroll for that. Crazy stuff. And yeah, sorry, yeah, the language barrier, yeah, I do apologise, everybody, I am Northern. It's difficult for <laughs> difficult for people who speak English to understand me. I do apologise. Jimmy here. Gets the pow. Big pow. Massive pow. Nuclear pow. Mmm. It's armor 11, so it's uh, no armor break or death. There are no middle mm -hmm. ground. He goes for the scatter. Goes for the scatter. The risky play. Here we go, lads. Ooh. Oh my god. That's a that's what I call a good scatter for the orcs. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you've just gotta clear this witch, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. You just gotta clear this witch. Which is not very difficult. Uh, no, in 2D, 2D the blitz. <laughs> Easy to play the witch. I'm guessing he wants to go with the ball with the movement 8. He's so far away. He could try and get this blitzer. Yeah, yeah so if he, so he wants to power it first. So, yeah, so this is a little bit... Li the little bit greedy way is the best way to do it. Because you block with him and then if you get the pow, then you can blitz this guy. And then if you get the pow there, you can go for the blitzer score, which is obviously the best. Three, four, five, six, right? So clearing him is the best. One, two, three. If you've got a GFI, oh, I guess you've got a GFI. Three, four, five. What? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you've got a GFI here, because then you just need the push. So you've got to, you've got to do the GFI, unfortunately. Gets the push. So now it's a three plus to basically win it. Mr. Throw gets on his feet to watch the play. Here comes the pickup. One! <gasps> he gets into it. Into a three, into a score, and... I think everybody's gonna lose, lose his points. <laughs> no snake eyes. There's wow. still a last turn. There is a last turn, the last chance. For the one turner for the Dark Elves. <laughs> they have two rerolls. <laughs> Jordy accent. I wouldn't call it sexy, sounds like. <laughs> I like the Jordy accent. It was great. It was great watching Jordy show just to hear Jordy's again. It's been so long since I lived there. And uh, yeah, it was, that was really great. No scoreboard bug in the final. It is it is one nil to Bright. Um, it's all okay. Wait, he's not defending the one turn. Okay, that's a choice, isn't it? Just back lines. Does he have tackle on every square? No. Didn't defend the one turn at all. 
He could, he should have put at least the strength for guys there, you know, uh, yeah. to make things a little more uh, difficult, but no. It's the final. Bright, Bright decides to be a true gentleman and offer a Diomed a chance. Wow. So yeah, so what what Diomed has to do here is have a player anticipating the side there, the quick snap, right? So he wants like a blitzer here. So if he gets the quick snap, he can go there and make it so much easier. And then still set up the rest of the one turn to like get this side stepper through. Well, one of the side steppers through. Wow. Wow, he's got two rerolls for the one turn as well. It isn't over. Yeah, no stand firms, and then didn't set up to stop the one turn. That's wild. Wait, did Bry the uh, invest points on the prediction? <laughs> you know, trying to, to win it in the the maximum win, you know, here, winning the CCL uh, final and the prediction. <laughs> With with the with the two gap as well, it makes it like it just makes it really the the two gap is like way worse, right? Like it's it's actually way worse than the one gap here because it gives you all sorts of options with like using both witches to like you you can use a witch to block and stuff to try and open up with a with a with a gap, and you can also um like blitz this guy, pow him, and then sidestep up to here and then start using the other one and stuff. So there's there's all sorts of things. I, I mean, Diamond's running out of time, and I don't know how he's good at how good he is at one turns. I think, uh, you know, uh, this could be a weakness for him because this should be pretty easy, and also he shouldn't have used it. He should have had more time bank left. But yeah, so so straight away this guy should have been should have been here in case of this in case of the quick another snap. re roll for Diomed. Wow. Three re rolls. Well, uh, also I'm checking the prediction. Uh, three people vote for the elves and invested 300 points. <laughs> How can you be so cheap, <laughs> people? For God's sake, the the orc guys were at four, but they invested 4k points. <laughs> and so people, don't, don't you don't you have like millions of points already? <laughs> Why are you saving them for? <laughs> So yeah, so he, he he didn't do this as well as he could have done because he could have had a player here, right? This player here could have been here. This is this is bad that this player is not here. Sorry, Diomed. It's just absolutely bad that this player is not here because if this was a power, he'd have been over, right? Whereas, it, it, wait, he's hit. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So he gets he gets up to here, and then he's got the witch elf to do the last two pushes. There you go, happy days. Now he needs to move one player to yeah, this cover be that uh, square. And has the other one to cover the one after that one. Yeah. And him. Yeah. And that's it. That's all he needs and <laughs> He gets the push. Oh, gets the first push. Good. Gets the pow. Gets the pow. Choose the pow. Class act. Gets the armor break. And he With a 12. He nearly sized up the wrong way. He's got to go this way. He says, oh, he's jumping. He's, jumping. he's jumping. He's jumping like a champ. Oh, let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, Bye. man. Into five and six and scores. Amazing, amazing score. Amazing. Leap, finally a leap happens here, and somehow, yeah. <laughs> and the orcs have won the toss. Oh. <laughs> wow, amazing stuff. I didn't even think of the jump. So fair, fair play, fair play for Diamond, right? He had the rerolls. Obviously, the jump is better. A uh, leap. It is actually a leap. It wasn't a jump, right? It was a leap. He's got the leap skill. So yeah, obviously the leap is the is the best play there. Um, you can still set up in a offset LOS here because, of course, uh, Bright still has to store out the half. Um, it's a full half. It's no golden it's goal. It's a full half, guys. We have another. Eight times per team to see that one in here six. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> that is... <laughs> yeah, tree. Oh my god, 40 seconds and 146 for the in the time bank is brutal, yes, isn't it? Yes, there you go, there you go. That's the maximum uh, level of uh, playing here. Proper quick uh, blood ball. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna stay. We are not going to stay here for long. <laughs> <laughs> Flip me. Yeah, Martin Krul. It, well, it was good that like the the absolute lazy, terrible setup. <laughs> no offense <laughs> to Bright was punished, wasn't it? Like you've got to put all your players out there. It's the final. You're one nil up. You've got to make it hard for him to get the pushes. He's got to get four pushes forward. That's so hard if you if you like set up in a in a proper one turn defense. That was so lazy, even at the two gap, which made things even easier. Um, that was really, really poor from Bright, not not defending the one turn at all. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Solid defense. Solid D. Oh, defend. look at the kick. I will defend. Oh, that could be very good or very bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's likely to be a, a touchback, isn't it? Five out of eight for a touchback. So he's not going to go crazy on this, but he's definitely going to put an armor 11 sidestepper or two near the ball. And uh, thank you very much, Beach, for the sub. Glorious. And uh, Fedra, welcome to the stream. And thank you very much. That was pretty amazing. Yep. Pretty amazing. Uh, just so. playing around, there is a reason for the two armor apps instead of two movement. It's the cost of the skills. There yes. is a cap of a uh, 1600 TV on the team, so they can go uh, uh, too crazy on the skills. Yeah. Yeah. That's also, Fedra, welcome to the stream, welcome to the chat, and sorry to hear that you started playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> you regret it soon enough. And become one of the people that watch more blood ball than plays blood ball. Yep. <laughs> and like this leap was a random, right? Like, you know, so both sides have got a bunch of randoms on. Like, obviously, the grab is going to be a random, right? The break tackles are random. And obviously, some of the guards and mighty blows will be randoms as well. Um, and I'm sure that's the reason for this ball carry having plus AV as well, was just to TV control. So the, the TV control is a big factor of taking the AV ups. But also, it is tactically uh, very sound as well, right? Yes, uh, but yes, uh, the startups, yeah, they have the startups with, they are cheap. Mm. Only 10 TV for armor. That's really cheap. Yep. Meanwhile, for example, strength is 80. Yeah. Movement is uh, 20 and agility is 40. Yep. So, yeah. The mighty blow is forty, right? The mighty blow is the big is the big sink on his team. The mighty blow is forty. That's like as much as all of the armor put together, nearly. <laughs> so like, the the mighty blow is the big one, and like, you know, it, it, if he if he gets all those hits with it, it does kind of pay for itself, doesn't it? But um, yeah, yeah, two AV is incredible. Two two AV for twenty k is is really great. I said this, I said this by the way when the rules came out in twenty twenty, just just quietly. <laughs> Well, you, you weren't the only one that said that. Every single person said it. Uh, didn't you? Uh, not oh. everybody, not everybody. I remember the, the clip where Elliot says I'm right and he was he was gutted. He was gutted. <laughs> well, exactly sounds like it because you've got to fit in a 1600, right? And your player's getting the SPPs. This is the problem, right? You've got to fit your team in a 1600 and this Blitzer's getting loads of SPPs. Well, you don't want to sack him, do you, and buy a replacement? By a rookie, so you you want to keep this guy because he's got bludge and, and mighty blow. So you so you just keep give, keeping him AV to, to spend his SPP. So like the SPP, the spending the SPP is actively one of the good things about the plus AV. Oh well, flip me. <laughs> now, now digging him have... up. Dodging the question, yeah. There you are, armor, armor uh, value eleven. Useless. <laughs> Useless. Yeah. That's... Elliot vindicated. Okay, now comes the moment that we oh, pick up the ball. Yeah. And he's been able to do all that thanks to that extra movement point. <laughs> A regular Mr. Throw wouldn't have been able to do that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, we've got the we've got the uh, the time bank sound bug. 
Yes, it's been going a big, but it's been going all the time. But if we keep talking, we I, we, I think we can cover <laughs> that sound. So do you know what I think the play is here? <laughs> Leap into one day in the ball. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The problem is that this guy's got tackle, so it's not so easy to like run through on threes, right? To but cancel the assist. tackle only matters if you fail the dodge. Yeah, and that might be the best. Remember, player. guys, don't three, fail three, three. rolls, and everything is fine. Three, three, two could be the best. Honestly, he could just go for the witch as well, right? The witch could just go um, and surf him. <laughs> Oh my god, that will be epic. <laughs> oh, boo! <laughs> I thought he might have gone with it because this is desperate. Like, th this drive is now absolutely desperate, by the way. Like, the, uh, his, his linchpin of his defense is gone. He's down to nine players total. Seven, uh, eight players? Yes, he's going to have to. Uh, he's going to have to pray. Or uh, some uh, terrible uh, dire result for right. Yeah. Or now, because like... the orcs are the, the orcs are gonna be able to cage, and that's gonna be a brutal uh, cage. And it worked the first time in the dodge in with the witch into uphill, but I wouldn't count that as a safe play. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. But now, of course, he's only got the one side stepper, so this this grabber can blitz him every turn pretty easily. Like it's a lot easier to get the grab guy to hit him. Far more uh, foul, uh, desperate foul. Yep. But he has to do something, achieve something. There is too many orcs on the pitch. Yeah, this is real, real bad for Diamond now. Now that side stepper there makes things a little more complicated, a little, a little. more complicated for a uh, bright to cage. 75% knockdown though, isn't there? 75% knockdown here, and then this guy's got grabber. Well, you know, 75%, that's a, there you go, you know. He doesn't get him. Oh no, he, hit, he, hit, he hit with him. He hit with, the, he hit with the grabber first. Interesting. Interesting. So he does get the clear because he did it. He did the clear with the grab. Hmm. I might have been greedy and gone for the clear with the blitzer. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd be gone for that clear with the blitzer. And then done the blitz with the big one. Because this guy, you know, now you've got to fill in all the squares or whatever. Like, you've only got to fill in two, I guess. Uh, kind of three. <laughs> He's just ignoring him and just going to walk around him. Okay. I mean, that's that's completely valid, isn't it? That's maybe the best idea. <laughs> just ignore him. He's not going to take well being ignored, you know? That's what they <laughs> charge the dice for the next block that guy makes. <laughs> is it here? It's a, it's a bit rough. I just stay where he is, more or less. Well, now he can't move that much. Yeah, like it's pretty annoying having this player here. Like, yeah, he doesn't have to bomb forward, but he, he has to not get his ball sacked or surfed. So. Oh my god, we're gonna see. Oh, okay, okay, now. Yeah, he runs around here, yeah. Safe from the surf. But the leap is there, always there. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the leap becomes a big problem now. How you are going to protect now? I've got no idea. I think he's just realized he's got no idea as well. <laughs> they also have to advance fast, but they have to keep the ball. It's a very important part of the game. Uh, yeah, okay, now, time, now, yeah. now, wait, wait. It's not over uh, with the cage. Let he needs to put people in all the corners. Oh, he's g Oh, it's a one. Okay. And it's not a one in 36. I mean, it was just a dodge, right? It was just a dodge. It wasn't even a leap at that point. Um, so you can uphill. You can just instantly uphill anyway. Maybe get two dice. It's difficult, though, isn't it? Two dice is, is very difficult. 
Wait, no, no, he can't. He can't get two dice. I'm sorry, I'm being stupid. <laughs> sorry, I'm being completely stupid. He could get a one dice. It's not hard to get a one dice. Two up hills. Chanter will only need one. Yeah. Easier to get a one dice. Yeah. The one D is the easy way. Yeah. And yeah, obviously the first thing he does is tag here. Flip me. Uh, you can appeal with we can appeal with wrestle, right? Move this guy up. I mean, it's a lot of where he goes, jump up. He could have jumped with. He could have jumped with this witch. So blitz with the witch. Here we go. You can run around and jump. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. Yeah. A lot of things happen there. Jump oh, wow. over. Oh my there god. There we go. There you go. Oh my god, what happened? Gets the bow. The bow. Oh my god. And he's the boy. All the armor break. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Armor up, Mr. Throw's broken. And now he's got players for it. Now he's got this which can come through as well. And what a nice, uh, one of the best uh, <laughs> scatters that the elves could uh, hold for. Yeah. This witch could uh, punt. This is, oh. this is a tough, this is a tough one to re-roll. Does re-roll it. Fails the pick up. Fails the pick up. Wait, he re Oh, he's got sure hands. He's got sure hands. There you go. Sure hands. The random skill come to the clutch. Do you know what? I wonder if it was better to dodge this guy out first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he doesn't get to go that far. And then you could get him there, and then th this witch could have, like, dodged back and, and just lobbed it over here. <laughs> okay, okay. Now the, the, that was a lot of uh, dice rolls there. Instant pow. With the blockless uh, piece that guarantees you getting a pow and an armor break. Yep. <laughs> yep, pretty good. Uh, so I don't like that the models of the witch elves are dirty. They have like dirt <laughs> on the skin and all that. Witch elves will never be dirty. <laughs> In, on the outside, <laughs> you will keep, you know, skin perfect. That's what the, <laughs> all the descriptions are of the characters. Oh, doesn't clear the tackler yet. Obviously, he really wants it on this movement eight fella. Oh wait, no, the movement eight fella blocked. Wow. Okay. I would have really wanted it on the movement eight fella. Personally. That wasn't a blitz either, was it? No, it was just a, a here comes the blitz. Again, he doesn't grab him on the sideline. Why, why, why doesn't he want to grab him on the sideline? Oh, because he's blitzing. Wow. This is wild. I think that was a chain of mistakes there. Flip me. Yeah, the witch elves do like being covered in blood, to be fair. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. But that should be at the end of the game, when they win, you know, having an animation of them covered in blue or something like that. Mm -hmm. But at the start of the game, yeah, yeah. He was spotless. here. What are, you, what are you talking about? He's here. What, what, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> He's literally here. First of all, I just thought it was a block and you would have put him on the sideline. But even then, I would have still just, like, you could have still pushed him on the... You could have pushed him there and, like, stood there with a blitz, but not obviously you wouldn't blitz if you weren't going to move. So it was just, I just thought it was a weird blitz. Oh, 20 seconds left for... Less than 50 seconds for each one. He that the time the factor, the time pressure, yeah, must be huge. Yeah, yeah, 23 seconds and 28 seconds. And two oh. minutes that doesn't stop for anything. <laughs> yeah, this is really intense now, isn't it? So, you know, no, no, now is who, which one of them has the animations on is, is then a huge disadvantage. He can, because uh, the clock, yeah. the clock doesn't stop during the animations. Yep. He could blitz this guy and then 1D this fella and then fill in these squares and then he can chain the ball to there and then uphill him with wrestle is the, probably the best chance he's got of getting the ball. 
I would say. Oh, the one decent squeeze though, because this guy. Well, this guy could have. This guy could have come in here, right? It was my idea. This guy comes in here, but uh, that's hard though, isn't it? it would have been no, we're not back on. Couldn't reach it actually. This guy would have had to come in there on a GFI, and this guy runs out and runs all the air. It's really hard actually. So I guess he's got to uphill this guy for a push. <laughs> he's got to blitz him and then uphill this guy for a push to there, and then uphill him with wrestle. It's, it's a really bad one for the ball this turn. He might be going for it though. There we go. He's running out of time. I mean, it's a hard turn, he's got to think, hasn't he? He can't just not think, but yeah, he's doing my play. Well done, well done, Diamond. Proves him right. <laughs> oh, he's fouling first as well, nice. I mean, he might not be going for my play anyway, but I, I like my play. Uphill into an uphill. It seems mental, but the payoff's good, isn't it? Maybe he won't do it, maybe he'll just dodge away. Yeah, it just even ends the turn, yeah, fair enough. I really like my play, though, honestly. <laughs> uphill into uphill. <laughs> because I feel like it's kind of too dangerous, right, just to not do it. He's, Bright's got plenty of time here. Um, like, Diamond's really scrambling, isn't he? He's really scrambling every turn. And, like, he's putting he's putting Bright under a lot of pressure. He's, Bright's got pressure to defend the ball, but he hasn't got the pressure to get forward. Oh my god, there's the other side of both armor 11s are removed. Oh my god. Outrageous. Very much. Yeah, flying off. But this is the problem. This is the problem, to be fair. Like, they haven't had it until this, until the third half, but yeah. And blitz. Okay, yeah, it didn't matter which way he blitz. I guess, yeah, blitzing the. Blitzing the Sneaky Kid is a better player to have heard, isn't it? So that's the And now the ball carrier is free. And who's mm -hmm. carrying the ball? A bl an Orc Blitzer. Mm. The natural uh, option. <laughs> yeah, so obviously this is a defense defenseless player. You get and uh, you're getting guards next to each other. You could have blitz with here to keep the this witch elf more under control, but then that would have left this guy uh, you know, able to hit him and stuff. So maybe maybe the middle one was just better. Not a ton of difference, but, you know, one of them has to be better, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, because he's, he's based. Is this the lineman just clearing? No. I think he was trying to free the, the sneaky git to foul on the witch on the uh, ground. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe he'll dodge foul. No assists, but it's it's a good place to stand there. Yeah, yeah. So f blitzing, fouling the witch is better, but yeah, that's a better square to and stand. That's two one ones. Ooh. We shall count out that. Uh, but use the sneaky kid. Should we count that as a one in thirty-six? <laughs> not really. Not really. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't say that was a real one in thirty-six. <laughs> uh, it's a double one, not a one in 36. You're yeah, right. Yeah. No, that's the thing, like, that that was rough, right? The uphill into the uphill, but I feel like that was the last chance he was getting. Like, he's on a clock, he's, he's down players, he, he had to do things. I think he I think he had to do that uphill into the uphill. Yeah, this is the if thing. If he will have rolled 6-6, six, six, at least he will have uh, <laughs> break the armor. <laughs> yes, he could have rolled double two or double three, you know. Wow. Pretty crazy game, but yeah, it looks like now as if it's a uh, diamond is out of time. In a uh, literally out of time. He has less than a minute left. <laughs> yeah. In total. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got to start thinking a bit faster. Oh, he's going for the surf on Mr. Throw. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Throw. Pills, and then instead, Kazuzu. Mr. Himself. Throw. Mr. Throw takes it uh, very seriously. <laughs> Mr. Throw doesn't like to be touched by a woman. <laughs> and that.
that is, I mean, it's not over. Don't say it's over, but this is now like, you know, absolute domination. <laughs> Mr. Trey says no. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly that the good strat, yeah, good point for Fabrito is the Dark Elves. You take lots of time when you've got all your players and then <laughs> because if it gets to overtime you'll only have four players to move, so it's alright. Yep, there might be a six plus troll blitz T D. It might be it might be on. There might be a three one in three thousand play for Diamed, but uh it's gonna take something like that. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant water. <laughs> Find me has some bangers in uh, in commentary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to remind you that orcs in the end have no gender at all or anything like that. Like witch elves or whatever, they don't care. Like, why are you coming here? Away, away. <laughs> oh, dear. And uh, by the way, if you're interested in the chuffs, there's the latest YouTube video on the chuffs. As endorsed by Dimmy G. Oh, that gets oh the there you go. Beautiful pause. Wow. It depends. So, so oh my God. <laughs> Fimea said this. Fimea said this. But um, that may be the modern, the modern Warhammer fluff, right? It's certainly, like, obviously, the 40k fluff is. They're like... They're like funguses, aren't they? That like yeah, they are fungus in uh, Warhammer 40k. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But obviously the the, the 40k all. Oh, there you go. Oh. There you go. One in 36. Yes. Yeah. There you go. One in 36 for the orcs. Time to pay. <laughs> Time to pay the orcs. <laughs> Got the. Yeah. 40k orcs are not Warhammer orcs, right? Number one. And even if they were, because obviously if they if they were, then orcs would have conquered the Warhammer world like in a flash <laughs> because 40k orcs are insane um and then so first of all they're not the same orcs and then second of all even if the warhammer orcs were the same as the 40k orcs um oh my god okay no the warhammer orcs aren't the same as blood Bowl orcs right because they've got their yep. you know it's it's a parody of the warhammer world anyway so realistically that is that is just propaganda there from Fimea. <laughs> as oh, far as we know, okay, there's, there's okay. definitely female orcs okay, in Blood Okay, Bowl. maybe Mr. Throw has a Miss Throw <laughs> waiting for home, you know, and like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I can see Mr. Throw married to a female big aunt, you know. <laughs> Strength for mighty blow. No, 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 don't touch me, don't touch me. My wife is watching, my wife is watching. Yeah, there's the orc cheerleaders, right? There's the second dead orc cheerleaders, and there's the current ones are like wags or whatever, aren't they? So, yeah, there are there are female orc cheerleaders. In yeah, the yeah, yeah. I always thought that the female orc cheerleaders were male orcs dressed as uh, cheerleaders because they thought that was the way of doing it, you know? <laughs> the same way of painting red things or uh, things like that, but yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, Blood Bowl 2 Orc Chilies, yep, yep, yep. I have to say that there was a model, a miniature of the cheerleaders, all cheerleaders, and it was like the Blood Bowl 2 <laughs> cheerleader. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You know, so it was anything, Gates Warsaw did it. Yep. He's got, he's got to hit this player here, like to, you know, got to minimize the... The chance of the one turn. I mean, it's not much chance of one turn, right? Both witches are gone, which severely impacts the one turn, even if you guess these three kills, right? Oh, he didn't know this player was here, look. He totally didn't know that player was there. He just did, did a random dodge instead of hitting him with Mighty Blow. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, half orcs were. Yeah, I like how just the whole thing's collapsing now, right? Every block's a removal now. It's wild. Here we go, G. Here comes the foul. Another removal. Ah, there you go. I know the one. Man. Why some of the elves in the KO box have bigger belts than the others? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I really don't know. I really don't know why that is, but I have no Maybe it's because the chaos is with a nine, you know, so it's a bigger KO. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> and 23 foul. Where is the social contract, for God's <laughs> sake? 
So now um, there is the chance of the timeout, right? So Bright should play for the timeout now. Um, defend against the timeout with probably an aggressive, aggressive chevrons. What he should do here. <laughs> hey, Moradam. Hey. Hey. <laughs> the Orc team won the ladder. Who could have guessed? I don't know if they were actually first in the ladder or not. I don't know who. I don't know who was first on the ladder. I think Diamond was, wasn't it? I think Diamond actually topped the ladder with these dark elves. I'm not sure, but I think Diamond topped the ladder with these dark elves, and, and then got and the, the prize, final. So. The prize for the winner is a ticket for the, the World Cup. Yep. Yep. If I am correct. Yeah. Well, so um, the winner of the ladder gets a gets a ticket to the World Cup, and then the final four in the playoffs gets a ticket to the World Cup. So Bright got like a double ticket, right? He, he made the final four and he topped the ladder. So, so that means the second in the ladder got the ticket, which is Monitor, who may not get the ticket. And it was only a quick snap, so there is no one turn here. And that is GG. GG, congratulations, Bright, on winning the CCL Cup with a quick question level of one turn defense. <laughs> yes. But in the end, in the end, in the end, uh, things work. Yep. Commiserations to Diomed. Yep. Unfortunately, you don't get to see the summary of the game when the game ends. But never mind. <laughs> can find the replay and, and get there. There you go. That was the game. 2-1. Um, so, yeah. Congratulations, Bright. Very, very... I thought, I thought both sides played very well. I thought it was a great thing. Yeah, but there was the... I mean, huge mistake in Bright allowing the one turn. Like, allowing the easy one turn. That was... He definitely, definitely, definitely should have defended properly. Um, and, yeah, you know, tough. I think, I think the I think the Orcs were, like, favoured. But it's kind of tough, right? Because, like, it's tough for both sides because, you know, it's hard for the Orcs to remove players and... It's hard for the elves against like you know loads of guard, no guard of their own, and yeah, 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 yeah. removals really. Yeah, getting a, I think it was lying on the fouls to get the removals. Maybe a lucky hit with mighty blow, but having no guard, so it's the big question. You know, you only can have one double. It's gonna be guard or a mighty blow. I say only having only one, mm -hmm. mighty blow is gonna be more useful in the long term. Yeah, yeah, might be. Maybe but you're gonna season. you're gonna miss that defend that uh, guard every single time. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's you know, and like obviously at this point the uh, the orcs could have had defensive as well. So like that 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 was what um, Chunter found that he he was taking loads of guard. Then he thought, oh, there's no point taking guard on Skaven because by the time he's got you know a few guard, his opponents have got defensive and he doesn't get much use out of it. But, but defensive is a is a double for the is a agility skill. It is, yeah. But at, at high TV, they kind of get it right. They could have had a troll with defensive quite easily, or like or random. They could like random agilities. And then oh, yeah, yeah, get true, a dodge for 20 true, or a sidestep for 20. True, yeah. true. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, I can grab a combo, yeah. I mean, basic, uh, the orcs have the, you know, the, the basic kit of the orcs. The guard, uh, block, mighty blow, and you have more skills. You can get Juggernaut, was also very useful. And mm -hmm. uh, the same with grab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing about yeah. the, so the, long, the long guard... Is like more impactful on the bigger turns, isn't it? But then the mighty blow is just is just basically lowering your opponent's teams in the long in the long because, run, yes. But for the single turn, the cage, you know, to hit the cage or uh, get into the cage or uh, things like that, especially with frenzy players having that extra guard, that guard that could be mean a lot. But of course, you are, if I had to pick out of the blue, I say mighty blow. Only having one mighty blow. Yeah. Oh, de defensive is a great skill on like a strength five or a strength four player, and yeah, it doesn't work on your turn, but it makes you it make like because obviously you want to hit the guy with guard to get him out of the way, but now if he's got defensive, it shuts that off and it's really hard to hit them. So um, so it's it's really good, but the one the one guard like you use it to like break a cage or break through the flank on your dacker and stuff. So having one guard, one guard for crucial turns is really good. Um, so on those crucial turns, the guard is superior, but of course on the non crucial turns, you've got sixteen mighty blow blitzers, maybe. I don't know how many times he did blitz. What's this guy? Yes. Oh, okay, I can't tell the names. <laughs> I can't oh. tell. I can't know. Uh, I can't know how many times he hit in this game. Unfortunately, I, even if I could work it out, I wouldn't know. But 
you know, the, with the DACA as well, first of all, it's less than 16 anyway, right? Because the DACA. Um, well, wow, is it on, was it only 17 then the whole match? He only made 17 out, on 20, out of 24 turns. He only actually made 17 blitzes. Um, yeah, the DAC is obviously reducing the impact of the Mighty Blow. Um, so that that's straight away, like you're paying 40k for Mighty Blow for half the game, right? So Yes, uh, but uh, for example, guard when you are trying to break, break from the... The opponents during the DACA is extremely useful. Mm, it's it's a really tough call. Or you could it's just take really or, you could, or you could just take strength, right? <laughs> oh, the strength, but the strength is eighty. It's like uh, mm. that's a lot of uh, TV investor there. It's a lot, but it means like all of your blitzers like don't need. You know, you're getting a huge positional advantage from not needing assists for like loads of your blitzers. And, and a great and a great ball carrier too. If you have a carrier. blitzer. Yep, and a gr and a great uh, a great like uh, opener for the DACA, you know, like opening a opening a channel, like you can just you can two D any player, or you can like uh, get an assist in two D of strength four. So it's really good, really good having a single. For those that are new on the channel, this is coming. This is gonna end. Jimmy remembering the time in the high elf team he had oh, a blitzer no. with a strength five and all that, that he could break the DACA himself <laughs> and all that. He was fantastic, and there was the glorious days of Jimmy, you know, playing high elves in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> and honestly, the witch elf was better. I had a strength four witch elf, and that was better than the strength five high elf catcher. The strength five also has mighty blow. It was a fucking beast. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. But I think the witch elf was the better player, honestly. I had, I had a leap as well right so like it could just sack anything anytime eight times out of nine it gets in with wrestling strength four like it, it had rackle it had rackle and strength four and it had leap like it was just the absolute ultimate sacker it was yeah, yeah but really the strength good. five carrying the ball yeah who's really gonna good, take yeah. the ball from the guy and have to have mighty blow you know if someone tries to touch him he can do like the mr throw to the white shell yeah <laughs> when he just by the way by the way it was red dice so because the orc has a and someone helping him. That was probably his brother-in-law. <laughs> no, what's happening here? What's happening here? No, 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 no. Get away from me. Get away. Don't say anything to your sister. <laughs> well, what a way to end the stream. I should. I just realised I should end this for YouTube's. Um, thank you very much, Fami. Great to have you back in the booth. What an amazing, what an amazing okay, cast. I, mean, I was so here yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's still great. It's still great, you know. It's yeah, just, it's just good, the two good, of us. Yes, yes, nice. especially, especially for another uh, CCL uh, Cup final, a tournament. If you ask around, uh, many people will tell you that I won twice. <laughs> one as a player and one as a coach. But it's uh, just what, what people say. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And massive congrats to Bright. Incredible performance. And, of course, Diamond were also great. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.